is Nathan Higgins, and I am going to interview Ryan Noah Jr. as my hero. I think of Ryan as a hero because he is such a great role model. He shows his love for God and all he does it makes learning about God fun for the younger kids at church. Who inspires you to help at church? Well, I think I would have three different kind of groups of people who inspire me. First, it would be the kids, because you guys are awesome, and I love you a lot, and you're full of energy, and you're way more fun than the old people in the big church. So, it's a lot of fun to work with kids, so I do that. Um, I work with you guys because you're fun to be with. I'm also inspired by my family. Um, they've always um, made serving kids in the church a really big priority, and that's why our church's kids um, program is so big, is because we know that if we start early, and teaching you guys about Jesus, then it'll carry through your entire lives. And so that's really important. My family has taught me that. And um, last but certainly not least, I'd say that God has inspired me the most um, because loving God is my whole purpose in life. And so I really want to pass that on to the younger people like you. Okay, that. Okay, so have you ever been picked on for loving God? I have. Um, it was interesting to learn um, it was in about middle schoolish around that time. I was not very good at being friends with the other kids in school because I come from such a strong Christian family and go to church all my life. So pretty much I saw the kids who didn't go to church as bad. And that's not what we're supposed to do as Christians. And so I kind of set myself apart. And because I did that, I got picked on. And then I learned that if you love people the way that Jesus called us to love them, instead of looking down on them because they don't love Jesus, they won't pick on you because you're loving them and you're showing them kindness. And then that's the way that you lead them to Jesus. If you have any advice for me or others if they find themselves picked on for loving God? Yeah, um, like I just said, I figured out that I was being picked on because I purposely set myself apart. And if you show that you're a Christian by loving people rather than by looking down on them, then you won't get picked on as much because they'll see that you love them and you care about them. I know one of the things you do at church to make it fun for the kids is dress up as mad scientists. Where, do you get, where did you get the idea for him and all his crazy pranks? Um, well, there are lots of sources of inspiration that went into the mad scientist. He started as a chef. He was actually a chef. That was before you were in kids' church. Um, I did, we did a couple weeks where we did different chef projects that the scientist, well, at the time he was the crazy chef guy. I don't think we had a name. We just called him the crazy chef guy. And he did crazy stuff, but you can't do that much as a chef. You keep wasting food and making, making messes with the food. So it turned into the scientist because you can do a whole lot more as a scientist. And um, he's a fun character who gives me an excuse to be my crazy self in the kids' church and drive mom crazy when she's being the teacher and have lots of fun with you guys. Yeah, that's how the scientist was born. <laughs> you're, going, you're, you're going to Panama soon on a mission trip. Will you work with kids there too? I will. We are actually, we're planning on working with kids. Um, most of the time we're in Panama, we're gonna go to a lot of schools and stuff. What do you hope to get out of the trip? Well, while we're at the trip, we want to show the kids um, that Jesus loves them. Some of the kids over in Panama, it's, it's not that they don't know about God. It's that they don't know how to be in a relationship with God. They, their whole families, they're, they're kind of, they all, the whole society knows about Jesus, but they don't necessarily um, know how to, like, like when we go to church, we pray to Jesus and we worship Jesus because we love him. Whereas they go, and it's more of a social thing where they go to church because their friends go to church and because their whole family has gone to church. But they don't go to the church for the right reasons, which is for loving Jesus. And so I really want to teach the kids that they can, they can um, have a real relationship with Jesus, you know? Mm -hmm. What are your plans for the future? I plan to be a pastor. I'm going to the University of Valley Forge, which used to be Valley Forge Christian College, but then they changed the name. Um, and I'm studying pastoral ministries, and I hope to someday become a pastor. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for interviewing me, man.
It's fun.